<laughs> Hi students, it's Ms. McKenzie, your K-12 district teacher librarian with this week's micro virtual field trip. In the month of February, our United Nations Sustainable Development goal that we are celebrating and exploring is water. So this month, Ms. Katie Wells is here to share her artwork and a little bit about, her, about herself as well. So will you introduce yourself yes. and then tell us about your art journey? Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Katie Wells. I am a new employee here working as the eighth grade and seventh grade educational aide. But prior to that, I was a student at the University of Oregon studying fine art and art history, and which leads us into today's topic, which we're gonna be looking at a project I was doing that kind of focused on tears underneath a microscope. Yeah, so we said our, this month's theme is water. So we're kind of taking that theme a little loosely, but we're looking at human tears. Yeah. And who knew that different human tears look differently under the microscope? And I'll let Katie explain that. And then I'll also interject and just say that I think we might start doing art challenges each month from our micro trips because I follow a t well quite a few artists on Instagram who create artwork inspired by microscopic images. And that's kind of what this is all about. Yes. So, good. Uh, yeah. Perfect, <laughs> sorry. Um, so this particular project, um, I wanted it to kind of combine um, both kind of my histories. My mom is a science teacher, so I really love science. And then I myself am an artist. So I decided to start looking up different articles and information, and I found one in particular published by the Smithsonian Magazine um, from a project, a photographer named Rose Lynn Fisher. And she did a study where she found um, a bunch of different, or she took a bunch of um, slides of dried up tears from different emotions, happiness, grief. Um, she had some that were from like a newborn baby's tears. Um, they did ones with onion tears, just a, just a ton from a um, bunch of volunteers who helped her kind of with create this project. And um, every tear had different chemical structures based on the emotions. And so it was a really fascinating study. Um, and so, so like I, onion tears yes, looks different than different. happy tears exactly. or whatever. Yeah. And so the two tears that I actually did my project on I believe this blue one here is tears of grief, and the one over here was uh, tears of joy, like happiness. Can we scroll? Um, can I yeah. put them up closer a little bit? I mean, that's fascinating. I'm looking at it right now, and like the tears of grief definitely have like these linear structures, like some um, yes. you know lines intersecting, and then the other ones are tears of joy. Yeah. And they I look know, more bubbly. I don't know what else <laughs> yeah, to say. They, they kind of look their emotion in a way. Yeah. Um, and if so you see if you see the tears um, that came from like onions, they kind of look like flowers, like wow. blooms of flowers. It's really fascinating. And if you guys get a chance, I definitely recommend to look up the article. Um, and this particular medium that I did is called intaglio. And um, you kind of start by etching these plates. Oh, Here, I can bring them up. They're closer. so pretty. Yeah. So I you, love copper. Yes. As a, yes, it's just beautiful. It is. Um, so how you make these is you carve in with a sharp tool um, on, directly on the, pa the, the copper plate. And then you can take um, kind of a, like a coating and dip it in acid. And that's how you can kind of keep these areas where it's, lighter and then these like kind of foggier areas I suppose um so you're carving with a tool yeah. as well as etching with acid, acid yes okay. absolutely and, oh. and then you kind of um take your paper and you kind of soak it in water you put it down on the press and you run it through like an old style um printing press essentially. Did they have that at, at your yes, art department they, at the U of O? Yes, it was um, an Intaglio class, so it was specifically for like printmaking. That's so um, awesome. It was so much fun. If you ever get to go to the University of Oregon, I definitely recommend walking through their art department. It's a really wonderful and fun place to go. Well, thank you so much for that mini lesson on the connection. It's really STEAM, right? The connection between <laughs> science, technology, and art. 
and stay tuned students because like I said I think moving forward we've got a couple months left of the school year and I think I'm gonna do our micro trip and then throw out a challenge like here's a snapshot of what we saw under the microscope and submit some artwork for a prize I mean that sounds like a lot of fun and I would love amazing. to see what you come up with if you'll join us in that challenge each month that would be awesome. Any final closing words or? Um, just have a great week and a great day or whatever you need. Okay, thank you so much no as well. Bye.